Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some practice problems involving the traveling of sound waves. Because basically, any problem that uses the speed of sound and you want to know how long it takes for the sound to travel, you basically just say velocity equals distance over time. It's this simple equation. And for most of the time, we're going to assume the velocity of air, in other words, the speed of sound, is 343 meters per second. That's what we're going to be plugging in for that velocity. Now technically that number depends on the temperature outside but we're going to use the standard temperature which I believe is 20 degrees Celsius which gives you this number 343 meters per second. So for instance I can ask you you saw a lightning strike but then you heard the thunder two seconds later. I can ask you how far away was the lightning? And by the way, this is an example that you can do the next time there's a thunderstorm, and this will literally work. All we gotta do is say velocity equals distance over time. The velocity is 343. The distance is what we're solving for, and the time in this case is two seconds. So all you need to do is multiply both sides by two. It looks like 343 times two is 686, and that is 686 meters which in case you're curious how many miles is that it's just a little bit under half a mile okay so that's the answer for that one let's go ahead and do a different one this time let's say you're in a cave and you make a loud echo sound and we want to know how long does it take for the sound waves to hit the back of the cave which let's say the back of the cave is 60 meters away and then of course those waves are going to bounce back our question is going to be, how long does it take for you to hear the echo coming back? So to do that, we're going to use velocity equals distance over time again. But the secret is to this problem is, whenever you have an echo, you need to double the distance. The reason why is it's going 60 meters to the right, and then it's coming 60 meters back to the left for a total of 120 meters. So in other words, velocity 343 equals the distance, which we just said was 120, divided by time. In order to solve for time, I multiply both sides by t, and then I'll divide by 343. And after I plug this in my calculator, I'll get a time of 0.35 seconds. In other words, you'll hear that echo in less than a second. And if you want to increase the time that you hear the echo, you just need to increase the distance between you and the walls of the cave. That's going to increase the echo time. Now let's do one more example. This one's going to be the hardest one. Let's say... You put a penny in a wishing well, and so the penny drops, and it's going to the bottom of the well, which, you know, we'll say is pretty far down. This doesn't really look like a well. I don't know what it looks like. But let's just say that this distance, it's falling, is 150 meters. And my question is, from the moment you drop the penny, when will you hear the sound of the penny hitting the water or whatever. So once again, the secret for this problem is that you need to split it up into two parts. The first part is the fact that you're dropping the penny and it's gonna follow kinematics from physics one because all physical objects follow kinematics. And then once the penny hits the water, then the sound, which is not a physical object, the sound is gonna travel back up and ultimately hit your eardrum and you're gonna hear it. So for the first half, you use kinematics. For the second half, you're going to use velocity equals distance over time because sound does not use kinematics. It's not a physical object. So in order to find the first part with kinematics, what I like to do is I like to write out my five variables, V initial, V final, acceleration, time, and displacement, delta Y. In this case, I drop the penny, so V initial zero. V final, I don't care about. Acceleration is negative 9.8 because it's always negative 9.8 for gravity. Time is what I'm solving for because I want to know the time it takes to hit the bottom. And then delta Y is not 150, but negative 150. Why? Because is your penny going up? No, it's going down, so negative 150. And now we just have to use the equation that does not have V final in it. That's going to be this one, delta X, or in this case, delta Y equals V initial times time plus 1 half AT squared. And so it looks like negative 150 equals zero times time minus 
4.9t squared. That's after I plug in the 1 half times 9.8. So that's going to simplify to negative 150 equals negative 4.9t squared. Now in order to solve for t, I'm just going to divide both sides by negative 4.9. Let's see what we get there. Looks like I got 30.6 is equal to t squared. And then if I want to find the time, I just got to take the square root. So t is equal to 5.53 seconds. Now that is not the final answer because that's only the time it takes for it to hit the bottom of the well. Now the sound needs to travel back up to the top. And again, we're gonna do that using velocity equals distance over time. Keep in mind, this is not an echo. And the reason why I say that is because you do not double the distance this time. The reason why is because the sound is not going down and then coming back up. The sound is only coming back up. In other words, we only use the 150 meters for the distance. You do not double that. The only reason you would double it is if instead of dropping a penny down the well, you screamed or yelled down the well because then it's a sound wave traveling down and then coming back up. So that means velocity, which we know it's 343 still because we're in air, equals the distance, which we just said was 150. Doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. I mean, it kind of does matter. Let's make it positive because I want a positive time as my answer. And then I'm gonna say multiply both sides by t. We'll get this. And then just divide by 343 is gonna be 0.44 seconds. So then the final answer is I just need to add these two times together. 5.53 plus 0.44. We'll get a final answer of 5.97 seconds. And there's our answer. So if you don't have any questions on that, thank you all for watching. If you do have questions, please post them in the comments below. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.